Hi, I'm Andre Faust. I haven't done this for a while, so I'm a little rusty. Uh, so my thoughts might get a little uh, flighty at times. Uh, but what I'm going to be talking about is the Russian-Ukraine conflict or crisis, whatever you want to call it. But you have to bear in mind is that all the information that we receive, we seriously have to question how accurate is it. And the reason why I say that is because it doesn't matter if you're a lefty, if you're a righty, uh, if you're a centralist, if you're a government, if you're a corporation, your country, municipality. They have one thing in common. They all use propaganda. And the reason being is that they want to control the message that goes out to us. And of course, we... Uh, you know, we, we listen to the media, uh, whether it's coming through uh, the social uh, network on uh, online or it's through mainstream media. Uh, we get uh, our information from them. Where do they get their information from? Well, like I say, it's propaganda. In order to perpetuate propaganda, uh, you need talented people. I call them spin doctors, uh, but they're also known as public relations officers, um, communications officers, uh, it doesn't matter what the label is, I mean, they're there to uh, convey a message that is been, that's been thought of and uh, the wording's been uh, thought of and uh, the whole thing has been organized or orchestrated uh, so they can pass that on to the media. So on the Russian-Ukraine conflict, I'm not going to go into the analysis of that, uh, or am I going to give a value judgment onto it. Uh, what I'm just going to do is just basically highlight the the the, the conflict uh, and where it had its roots from and uh, where it's going to. The Russian-Ukraine conflict is a complex and ongoing political military conflict between Russia and Ukraine that began in 2014. The conflict has its roots in the dissolution of the Soviet Union and subsequent emergence of independent states in Eastern Europe, including Ukraine. One of the primary triggers of the conflict was the 2014 Ukraine Revolution which toppled the pro-Russian government of President Viktor Yanukovych. The new government was more pro-Western in orientation, sought to move Ukraine closer to the European Union and away from Russia's spheres of influence. This move was opposed by Russia, which saw Ukraine as a traditional ally and feared that its loss would diminish Russia's influence in the region. In response to the revolution, Russia annexed the Crimean Peninsula, which had been a part of the Ukrainian since 1954. The annexation, which most of the international community did not recognize, was met with widespread condemnation and led to increased tensions between Russia and Ukraine. The conflict all had also involved a separatist insurgency in the Donbass region of eastern Ukraine, which is predominantly Russian-speaking. The insurgency, which Russia backs, has led to a civil war in the region that killed thousands of people and displaced millions the conflict has had significant consequences for both Russia and Ukraine. It has led to economic sanctions against Russia and has damaged its relations with the West. It has also had a destabilizing effect on Ukraine, which has struggled to deal with the separatist insurgency and the loss of Crimea. Overall, the Russian-Ukraine conflict is a complex and ongoing political and military conflict that has had significant consequences for both countries and a destabilized region. So that is basically just an overview to get an understanding of how this is 
how this crisis has developed. Now, who the good guys are and who the bad guys, well, that's really up to debate. We know that the United States has played a large part in this. And uh, I'm not referring to the American people because the American people, they're, they're good people. But the political system, the system of power, it wants world domination. And really, uh, it has the power to basically have any country by the balls and get them to do what it wants them to do. Um, so when we take a look at why the Americans are backing the Ukrainian, again, if you take a look, it's a the border, right? If they can uh, win over the Ukrainian, uh, they've got control of the border. Now Finland and Switzerland are uh, being pressured into, uh, you know, uh, giving in to the Americans, even though the spin doctors don't spin it that way, but when you uh, unpack it all, this is what you get. Anyway, I'm not going to go too much further with this here. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, please uh, you know, express them, uh, no problem. I don't have any problems with people disagreeing with me or agreeing with me. Uh, this is what critical thinking is all about. You don't accept what I say and you don't accept what the <laughs> propagandists say. Uh, you keep a skeptic mind and you ask questions. So until next time, Godspeed, take care.